Hello, I am Bianca Swift. I'm a freshman at Burke High School, and this is Awkward Love. I'd say we're gonna last forever, baby, but that's just too cliche. Overused and understood, isn't that always the way? So baby, we're like Twinkies, everlasting. Bite-sized, cream inside, no fasting. Years go by, no change. It would think it's quite strange that there are no flies, but don't they know that Twinkies never die? They're stronger than that. Have too many calories, too little nutrients, just the right amount of fat. The ingredients are a mixture of Japanese drugs and chemicals. At least that's what it sounds like. Words jumbled like with upside down explanation points, percent signs, and that weird freaking squiggly. But even then, you don't think twice. You buy that crap. And later, when you sit with them on your lap, you know they're bad for you. They won't do you no good. Thinking about taking it back and buying a better snack like you know you should. You'd be eating less sugar if it rained down like snow from above. But you need it, just like my awkward love. You hated the addiction. We're some sci-fi fantasy fiction. But when push comes to shove, you need it, just like my awkward love. It destroys you inside. My awkward love makes you want to run and hide from my awkward love. You need it just the same as you need. I was gonna say air, but let's get one thing straight. I was gonna say air, but that's just too cliche. Overused and understood, isn't that always the way? So how about instead I say, baby, I need you like I need bacteria in my veins. Without that, I'd swear I'd go insane. Symbiotic, slightly psychotic, not something often mentioned in acceptable conversation topics. I know it's hard to understand without having to overstate how I need you in my life or I can't think straight. Without you, my proverbial glue, I don't know what I'd do. But thinking about it makes me realize what good things come in twos. Whoever's up there knew I couldn't make it on my own. Then I'd drive myself crazy so he threw me a bone. Seemed to realize you can't get out of a straitjacket alone. The awkward love is brewing, madness ensuing, and someone else drank the punch. Crazy is better if done in pairs, gives life a little crunch. Oddities are every day, rarities even more so, even though it seems to me that awkward is also. Crazy is commonplace, insanity a familiar face. So all in all, I guess you could say that being special isn't all that special, and unique not really at all. It's caring that really matters, and if you'll take the fall. Love is slightly scary. It can bring you to your knees. It has the potential to get hairy and breach jealousy like a disease. It's awkward and uncomfortable, but wholly unforgettable. It causes strain on emotions already quite unmanageable. But if you do it right through love, play, and fights, our awkward love can bring out something unimaginable. So one last time for old time's sake. I need you like I need. I was going to say my heart, but let's set one thing straight. My heart is an organ. It pumps blood through my veins. If that's all it takes, I'll go without it for days. In fact, take my heart and my stomach too, especially since lately I just want to overreact with you. By nervous system and urinary tract, the amount of body parts I had showed how much I loved you, nothing would stay intact. Hasta la vista lungs, sayonara tongue, kit livers would be livers would go flying, kidneys would be flung, digits would be strewn across the floor in disarray. The amount of if I could prove my love through that, you would never stray. Love is forever, eh, air and heart. Love between two people is the best kind of art. But awkward love sets us apart because the norm doesn't define how we choose to start. We are different, random and free. Love is hard, but awkwardness comes easy. Thank you.